Welcome back to Inside the PGTI. After a riveting opening round, the focus now shifts to the second round, the end of which would witness the application of the cut. Having tallied to 10 under 130, Om Prakash Chauhan and Divyanshu Bajaj found themselves sharing the sixth position. Chandigarh's Yuvraj Singh Sandhu birdied the last four holes to take his score to 11 under 129. The feeder tour order of merit leader shot a stellar round of 62 to occupy the third spot along with Faridabad's Karan Pratap Singh and Bengaluru's M Dharma. Chasing his maiden title, Abhinav struck five birdies and two bogeys for a steady round of 67. One over through 12 holes, Abhinav stepped on the gas pedal with birdies at the 13th, 15th, 16th and 18th. The score of 12 under 128 did not prove to be enough for Lohan to latch on to the lead as he was overtaken by Bangalore's Syed Saqib Ahmed. Saqib's remarkable ball striking on the back nine helped him to four of his six birdies before the turn. His three-shot lead at 15 under 125 equaled Vikrant Chopra's record for the lowest score after two rounds at a PGTI event. Started with the 10th, I hit it to about uh, three, four feet. I missed that part, but uh, on the 11th, the tough part three, I hit it to about six feet, made that part. Uh, 12th, I hit it to about two feet, made that part. Uh, 13th part three, I hit it to about two feet, made that part. And uh, uh, but I uh, bogeyed a really uh, easy par five. I bogeyed the 14th. So um, but then I made up with a birdie on 15, and then again on 17 and 18. And then uh, on the front nine, I didn't hit it that close, but I hold a lot of putts. I buried the first. Uh, unfortunately, I three putted on the second, but I buried third, fifth, seventh, uh, and eighth again. So uh, my putting was really good on the back nine, uh, on the front nine, which is my back nine, yeah. The halfway cut fell at 2 under 138, with 53 professionals making it through to the money rounds. Once a leading amateur in the country, Abhinav Lohan's journey as a professional has been pretty topsy-turvy. His career has seen the highs of 28 top 10 finishes, including three runner-up finishes, but a maiden title remains elusive. Having gotten lured to the sport courtesy his father, it did not take Lohan too long to acknowledge his true calling. I started when I was nine, probably 10 years old, and my dad plays every day, he plays nine holes. So I used to go with him as a kid, uh, just to hack around, you know, kill time, just to be outdoors. And you know, slowly I started playing tournaments, started practicing, got serious, I mean seriously started practicing at like 13, 14. And then you know, slowly just, I mean things fell into place and I decided to turn pro. The 29-year-old Lohan rose to prominence for his role in the silver medal winning show of the Indian team at the 2010 Guangzhou Asian Games. Fond memories, Asian Games silver medal, uh, we played for, for the Indian team. And it's always, you know, fun when you look back and, you know, those, 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 that whole week, in fact, you know, the other at athletes in the, in the games village, just the atmosphere and, you know, just to see our uh, track colour amongst the medals, so it was, it was good. Lohan's initiation into life as a professional was reasonably smooth, but it was few years later that speed breakers started surfacing. First four, five years of, of pro golf were pretty good. I was pretty consistent. I was consistently consistently in the top 15 on the PGTI. I had a good number of good finishes, but then I really struggled last couple of years. So I had to really work hard this off season. I had to get rid of some bad habits that creeped in in my golf game, and I'm I'm pretty happy now that you know things are okay and I'm starting to playing uh, started playing well again. The results are there for everyone to see. 
a tied 21st place finish with a total of 10 under at the Classic Golf and Country Club International Championship followed, serving to instill further confidence. I was playing well after a long time, so it, it gave me confidence and you know, it just uh, reinforces all, all the work that I've done in the off-season. He carried forward the momentum from the Asian Tour event to the Jaipur Open as he went on a spree of seven consecutive birdies during round one. He attributed the feat to getting into a zone which helped quieten his conscious mind. The achievement dawned upon him only after he had finished his round with his career-best score of 9 under 61 to take the lead. Sometimes you get into a zone where you're not even counting how many birdies you've made. You just look at a putt, you make it. You look, look, you go on to the next hole, you look at the putt again, you read it, you hold it again. So I just went on a spree like that where, you know, I was just in a zone. I was so focused. I just kept making putts and, you know, I came out with 9 under par, which is my best round till date. Going down memory lane evokes many memories for Lohan. But it is the Asian Games silver which makes the cut as the most unforgettable one. The one right now I would remember for the rest of my life is the last part I made on the on the 72nd hole at the Asian Games because that ensured a silver medal for us. With the exploits of the past to reaffirm faith, Lohan has his eyes firmly set on his targets for the future. My main target this year is the Asian Tour Q School. I would definitely want to go there and qualify and play on the Asian Tour again. The immediate goal, though, was to replicate his form of the opening round to wrestle back the lead in the third round. However, Lohan, along with Ludhiana's Pukhraj Singh Gill and Kolkata's Devyanshu Bajaj, shared the fourth spot at 13 under 197. The 2019 PGTI Q School champion Priyanshu Singh registered a surge of 10 places from the second round to seal the third position at 14 under 196. The Gurugram-based rookie's fine ball striking during his round of 63 ensured that he set up all of his eight birdie putts within a range of six feet. Bangaluru's M Dharma looked out of sorts as he made a double bogey and a bogey on the third and fourth to be two over for the day. He landed it in the bunker and missed up and downs on both holes. However, the two-time winner dug deep to stage a turnaround as he fired birdies at the 6th, 8th, 15th, 16th, 18th and an eagle at the 14th. His consistency through the course of three rounds placed him at the second spot at 16 under 194. Overnight leader Sayyad Saki Behemad had a rewarding front nine with three birdies including a chip in on the 6th. But the 25-year-old had to grind it out on the back nine as birdies were nowhere to be found. Courtesy his round of 2 under 68, he finished the day at 17 under 193 with his lead clipped to just one shot. I started off really well on the front nine. Uh, I shot 3 under after 9. I was 3 under after 9 and then Back then, I just couldn't uh, get my putter going. Uh, and I made a stupid bogey on 17 and a short putt on 18, uh, which I missed. But I'm still happy with the way I'm handling myself. Uh, you know, I still uh, I feel like I'm doing the right thing. So uh, I have one more day of doing exactly what I'm doing. With second place Dharma breathing down Sakib's neck and other contenders not too far away, the tournament looked slated for a photo finish. It's time for us to slip into one final break on the show. On the other side, we explore the varied interests of teenage rookie Kshitij Navid Kaul. 